What are the taxes on inherited property in San Diego? When selling an inherited property in San Diego, it could trigger certain taxable events. Notably, the sale of an inherited property might result in capital gains taxes. What are the taxes? These inherited property taxes would be applied to the difference between the inherited property value at the time of the inheritance and the final sales price. In this video, we'll review the possibility of capital gains taxes for a property in probate San Diego or a San Diego trust in more detail. Aside from the financial aspects of selling an inherited property in San Diego, there are also certain responsibilities associated with a real estate transaction for you to be aware of. Often, the person who becomes responsible for inherited property in San Diego, a property in a San Diego trust or probate San Diego, also becomes responsible for addressing personal belongings and preparing the inherited property. Hi, I'm Kim Ward. I am a certified probate real estate advisor. My team and I have been helping executors, administrators, and trustees with homes in probate or a trust administration here in beautiful San Diego for almost two decades. When you're in the process of selling inherited property in San Diego, what are the taxes? The sale of an inherited property in San Diego may be taxable and may be treated as an investment gain by the IRS when you make money on the sale of the house. As I've already shared, the capital gains tax is triggered, but it will only apply to the difference between the inherited value and the final sales price but you may not have any inherited property taxes at all, especially if the decedent's home is sold within the first 365 days, one year of the date of death. This is where I recommend that you contact a tax advisor when responsible for inherited property in San Diego, and you're wondering about what are the taxes on a probate San Diego or San Diego trust. The inherited property value is important because the property has likely appreciated since it was first purchased by the decedent. As the executor, administrator, or trustee, the beneficiaries may not be taxed for the entire amount the home has risen in value. Instead, the IRS will use the step-up basis to determine an inherited property taxes as capital gains taxes. Again, the probate San Diego or San Diego Trust inherited property is sold. If it's sold within one year of inheriting it, there may not be any taxes owed because of that step-up basis. The step-up in basis refers to the adjustment in the cost basis of an inherited asset to its fair market value on the date of the decedent's death. Because taxable capital gain income is the selling price minus the basis, a high stepped-up basis can greatly reduce the beneficiary's taxable capital gain income if the beneficiary sells the inherited asset. So I imagine you're really wondering, do we pay taxes on the sale of the inherited property? You may pay taxes on the sale of the inherited property. Aside from capital gains, the sale of an inherited house can also lead to income taxes if it was ever rented during your ownership. For example, let's say that the inherited property in San Diego was rented to a friend for six months while deciding whether or not to sell it. The rental income generated during the six month period would obviously be taxable. And now you're wondering, how do I avoid capital gains tax when selling an inherited property in San Diego? Generally, it can be a good idea to work with a financial advisor in the year you sell an inherited property. This is the best way to ensure you make tax forward decisions and minimize your overall expenses. You'll want to get some expert help in selling inherited property. An inheritance can be met with a wide variety of reactions. After all, losing a loved one is never easy to go through. When you do receive an inheritance, there are some immediate financial considerations to be aware of. 
especially when real estate is involved. As part of the probate San Diego or inherited property in a San Diego trust, you'll need to decide whether to sell or keep the inherited property. This deliberation may involve other family members, especially if the inherited property in San Diego is divided between siblings. If ultimately the decision is to sell the inherited property, it's so important to meet with a financial advisor to discuss the full scope of tax implications. This can help protect the estate and you as the personal representative and make the most of the inheritance. For those who choose to keep inherited property, there are other financial considerations to make, such as will you operate the inherited property as a rental unit? Will one of the family members move into the inherited property in San Diego? No matter what the decision, it is important to have a team of trusted professionals as your guide through all the details. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Kim Ward. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them down below. Or if you have stories or comments, I'd love to hear about those too. See you next week.